Hey Mark, nice lesson materials this week. Uh, thank you for your patience with this video. Um, and I'm so glad to hear so much good viola stuff, even though uh, it was a busy MD week. It's impressive. With your scales, the unequal rhythms sound good. The short longs get a little bit ahead of the beat, and that's something to watch out for. Whenever it's something that's like an old habit, um, throws up like a little baby red flag for me. So watch out for those being ahead of the beat. The 16th notes sound great. They're even, they're in tune, they're nice. The bow distribution is working really well. Your bow is not rushing in any point. It's just um, using a nice steady tone, which is excellent. For the 12 in a bow, let's now glue them together into 12s. Start uh, maybe at 50. Now they're gluing together, we'll start a little more slowly. Then go 52, 54, 56, and so on up to 60. Third movement of Prokofiev. Um, it's going well. The unequal rhythms sound sweeter, smoother, more lyrical. And I can also see you adjusting your playing when it starts to get a little bit um, too energetic or angular that you're catching it and you're uh, switching back to the efficient, smooth, relaxed way of playing, which is really key. The uh, arm level definitely looks better. Um, I remember when we were working on Bach, we were talking about like keeping the upper arm in the same place while we rotate from the elbow um, or from the wrist. Um, this week, I think it would be beneficial to do a little playing of this against a wall. Okay, I'm gonna start with the C flat part, two measures before the end. Then I'm gonna go here. So I have a G string level and a C string level. It feels a little tighter than what I actually want to do. But it really isolates that rotation. So do a couple of wall repetitions where it's da 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 da. Da, 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 da. The tension seems to build throughout the passage, which is something that I've experienced as well. So this week, let's start at the end of the passage. If we can sort of set up the last couple measures in a relaxed groove, and then work backwards and keep the groove, and then work backwards and keep the groove, eventually we'll be going from the beginning to the end with looseness goal points developed throughout. So I call this additive practicing, um, where you uh, do one measure, and then you do two measures, etc. So here's what it looks like. Here's uh, just the last measure. Now I'm going to strive to make that one very relaxed with very shallow string crossings. And take a deep breath, go back a little. Repeat that. Then go back. whether you'd like to add a measure each time or maybe two beats each time. But the goal is to develop looseness throughout by loosening the end and then aiming for that end looseness as we go. Okay, triplets sound really good in the second movement. I think those are going to carry over well to when you put it together with quartet, um, especially the ones on the last page. Those sound particularly clear and clean and in tune. Well done. Um, for my 
my least favorite part. Let's use the four per day method. Um, only four repetitions of each octave each day so that you're playing it with really clear focus. Um, so for the first one, start by adding the top. Find your first finger A, then add the top four. Mine was too high. That'll work. Okay, not exactly what I want, but four good times, four focus times, even if they're not great. And now moving on, now I'm gonna do the bottom octave. Not sure. Yeah, it has to be far apart. But not quite that far apart. And now I'm gonna leave it. So do those two octaves just like that, no more. And we're gonna start with that distance and that frame and get it dialed in. For the, let's start on the ricochet in this movement. Um, I'm gonna demo four of them for you. Um, and my recommendation is to strive for this sound on the D string, finding the spot in your bow where it's bouncing pretty well at the tempo. Yeah, da 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 from this angle. It's a very small rotation from here. It's essentially the windshield wiper exercise from like that we do early on but a little bit sideways but really this is going to be a spot where it's crucial to isolate the wrist. Any bigger and it's going to get unreliable. So strike for that this week. Start that see how it goes. Uh, JC Bach sounds wonderful. Your high position C string sound, I am uh, legitimately jealous of. Those are really nice. Those scales are great this week. Um, the rhythms have been fixed as well, um, and you're playing it really beautifully. It's really a pleasure to listen to, um, and I hope it's a pleasure to play as well. Let me check my notes. Um, oh, I wanted to ask um, whether the sheet music has arrived, and if Margaret is taking a look at the piano part. I'm gonna sneeze. Because <laughs> I think it's ready to play with piano. Um, would you please start on the first movement this week? It's so fun. Um, and also totally worth playing. Okay, once again, here I am playing a digital version that will involve some scrolling. <laughs> Thank you. 